Hello, and welcome to a Cord Electronics product video for the newly released Mojo 2 DAC. We're going to cover everything you need to know, from the basics of charging to the more in-depth DSP functions. Let's get started. Mojo 2 has been milled from a block of aircraft grade aluminium, much like the first generation. However, we have introduced some new additions. The power button and volume controls remain along the top edge of the device, with the addition of a menu button to access all of Mojo 2's new features. We have designed Mojo 2 to ensure backwards compatibility with the current poly streaming device, so any customers already invested in streaming can continue to do so after a firmware update. For audio inputs, you have access to both USB-C and micro USB ports, both capable of handling sample rates up to 768 kHz. A new dual data 3.5mm coaxial input, capable of carrying 768 kHz when partnered with the Cord Electronics M scaler, a standard optical port and a micro USB charging port. For outputs, you have access to two 3.5mm headphone jacks. To switch on Mojo 2, press and hold the power button for two seconds until all buttons illuminate. Mojo 2 will now go through a startup sequence to check all parameters before it can be used. Once the buttons rest and you hear the relay click, the device is ready. This power button will also show the current sample rate during playback. Mojo 2 boasts a new 13 watt battery, allowing eight hours of constant playback in any scenario. A desktop mode for prolonged static use that protects and charges the battery where necessary and new indicators to show how effectively the device is currently charging. We recommend that Mojo 2 is partnered with a charger capable of delivering at least two amps of current. In normal use, the charging port will show a colour which represents a percentage relative to remaining charge. When on charge, the port will slowly pulse relative to its charge percentage as it increases until it reaches maximum, represented by a blue LED. Additionally, if Mojo 2 is switched off and connected to a charger, the menu button will illuminate to show you how fast or slow the device may be charging. A red menu light would indicate that the connected charger is insufficient and you need to try a more powerful one. A purple or magenta light represents intelligent desktop mode. In this mode, Mojo 2 will regulate charging to preserve the battery based on usage. Using Mojo 2 with a Windows computer requires that you download and install the Windows drivers from our product page. There is a link for this in the description. If you're using an Apple computer, you can simply plug straight in and select your Mojo as your audio output or in your chosen application. If you're using an iPhone or iPad, you can connect to Mojo 2 using a genuine Apple Lightning to USB adapter such as this. Once connected, your iOS device will automatically route digital audio to Mojo 2. Android devices connect straight to one of Mojo 2's USB ports, enabling digital audio out. Mojo 2's dual data 3.5mm coaxial input enables digital sample rates up to 768 kHz when partnered with the Cord Electronics M scaler and a dual data cable. The menu button, when extinguished, represents the low volume band suitable for sensitive IEMs. Volume is controlled via the two central buttons on top. Each click of a button returns a 1 dB increase or decrease. Mojo 2 has a quick mute function that can be engaged by pressing both the volume up and volume down buttons simultaneously. It can then be disengaged by again pressing both the volume buttons or the flashing menu button separately. The higher band is accessed when the menu button is illuminated like so and is suitable for larger headphones and outputs. Menu button basics. Mojo 2's new menu button cycles through a number of new features and allows more in-depth control of Mojo 2. Any of the settings changed from the menu button will be saved after a reboot. Firstly, you will find the dim function, accessed by pressing the menu button once and then the volume down button to cycle through high and low settings. Secondly, you will find the crossfeed control, accessed by pressing the menu button once and then the volume up button to cycle through the four available options, off, 
minimum, moderate, and maximum. DSP functions. Probably the most anticipated new feature of Mojo 2 are the four equalization DSP controls. These allow the user to edit the frequencies boosted or cut in their audio by plus or minus 9 dB per mode. The custom DSP core uses 104 bits and runs at 705 to 768 kHz, as this enables aggressive noise shaping, ensuring minus 301 dB phase and amplitude accuracy. By using truncation noise shaping and 104 bits, we can ensure complete transparency by preserving the filtering of ultra-small signals. To access the equalization modes, press the menu button as follows. Twice for base 20 Hz, three times for base 125 Hz shelf, four times for treble 3 kHz shelf, and five times for treble 20 kHz. For each of the four equalization modes, there are nine positive and nine negative 1 dB adjustment steps accessed by using the volume up and volume down buttons. When both volume buttons are extinguished, that particular DSP mode is set to neutral or off. Here are some examples of what it can achieve. As you can hear, Mojo 2 can quite aggressively change the equalization of your audio signal if you wanted to do so. The purpose of this is to flatten the response curve of connected equipment where necessary. If you have a pair of speakers or headphones that you find overpowering in a certain frequency, Mojo 2 can help to rectify that and establish a more flat response or just one you personally prefer the sound of. More detailed information on this can be found in the Mojo 2 manual. The sixth and final feature of the menu button is a lock mode. This is for users who may wish to put Mojo 2 in their bag or pockets whilst on the move. It can be engaged by pressing the menu button six times and then both the volume up and down buttons simultaneously. The two buttons will briefly glow magenta before returning to your set volume. The Mojo controls are now locked in place. To unlock the controls, press the menu button once and then both the volume up and down simultaneously. The buttons will now extinguish for a number of seconds before returning to your current volume setting. The controls are now unlocked. DSP reset. If you decide that you want to remove all of your previously set DSP settings at once, you can easily carry out a master reset to return all settings to neutral. To do so, press the menu button once and then both the volume up and down simultaneously. All DSP settings have now been returned to neutral. 